Not all gRNAs are created equal. Some gRNAs cut their target sequence much more efficiently than other gRNAs. Choosing a gRNA that cuts its protospacer very inefficiently will result in a CRISPR-Cas9 experiment that produces very little mutations and is pretty much of little use. Luckily, there's computer software and scientific research that has helped to allow us to predict which protospacers are best for targeting. I'm going to show you this software here. ChopChop is a great tool for finding gRNAs that are both specific and efficient at cutting their target. It has a lot of options. You can click this. Here we're on the nuclease tab. You can select the PAM for your given nuclease. Um, by default, it's for SPCAS9 and GG. And importantly, by default, the efficiency of the cuts are calculated by the Donch algorithm, published in 2016. You're going to want to have that checked. Don Donch and colleagues came up with a computer algorithm that predicts how likely a gRNA is to cut its target site, so how efficient it will be at cutting its target site. They use data from over 4,000 guide RNAs to come up with this algorithm. It basically looks at uh, the target site along with the basis around the target site to figure out protospacers that are very likely to be cut. Higher Cas9 cutting efficiency means more successful experiments and a happier time in the lab. There's also a primer tab under the options. ChopChop will automatically design primers for you to analyze your mutations from CRISPR, or you can design the product size, the, the primer size, and the melting temperatures of the primers um, for analyzing your mutations. And then click Find Targets. And here you can see all the potential guide RNAs that ChopChop has found in my gene, in the two exons that are in my gene actually found 293 um, guide RNAs, and they're ranked according to a number of criteria that ChopChop uses. ChopChop looks at their off-target effect. So here, M MM0 means that how many other targets in the genome there are that have an exact match, that have no mismatches to your target. MM1 means how many other sequences in the genome have one mismatch. Etc. It's probably okay to have guide RNAs that have a few mismatches, but it's not okay to have perfect matches in the genome to your guide RNA. ChopChop also shows you the efficiency from the Donj algorithm, and so if you want to pick the um, the guide RNAs that can both cut very efficiently and also don't cut a bunch of other things in the genome. It'd be useful also if you know other things about your gene. For example, what are the really important parts? CRISPR makes indels, which result in frame shifts. Earlier in a gene, closer to the end terminus, is more likely to give you a really uh, massive change in your protein. However, it's important to consider whether whether that region is important for your protein. If uh, the C terminus is highly important for a pro for your protein, a mutation would work there just as well. So I'm going to select this top one here. You're going to see the guide RNA here, and you're going to see primers um, that would allow you to analyze that guide RNA. And you can see here. Um, these are all primer pairs that you could order, and that would allow you to PCR this piece out so that you could get the sequence of this region and whether you had a change there or not. Next, you're going to want to see this video for easy ways to clone guide RNAs and other useful techniques.